So as Spider-Man's going to be released in less than two weeks, I decided we're going to go over some more characters before that happens. And the first on the list is Miles Morales. Now, in the Ultimate Spider-Man comic books, Miles Morales is bitten by an enhanced spider. This little gem is hiding in his Uncle Aaron's bag, and when he goes to visit his uncle, that's more or less when he's bitten. Now, his uncle only had this spider because he was uh, snooping around the abandoned Osborn industry building, and as he was doing his usual stealing stuff, he, uh, a spider managed to sneak into his bag, and well, you know, that's that. Now, technically, he wasn't even supposed to visit his Uncle Aaron because his parents forbade it, saying that his Uncle Aaron was a bit of a bad influence. Just, he wasn't supposed to visit his uncle. But Miles had just won a position in a much better school than what he was going to. This is at least a somewhat important event to him. And so, yeah, he goes to tell his Uncle Aaron the good news. But after being bitten by the spider, he notices that there are some changes with him. First and foremost, he can camouflage himself, which allows him to hide himself and his clothes among scenery and other things. It's not exactly 100% perfect invisibility, but it's pretty valuable. Over the course of him being Spider-Man, changing into a person that would essentially be Spider-Man number two, he ends up using his healing factor, wall crawling abilities, even receives Peter Parker's old web shooters. It gets an updated version of these from S.H.I.E.L.D., but at first, it's Parker's web shooters. Now he gets some electrifying powers, and he puts those to good use in the story I'm about to continue telling you. Unlike Peter Parker, he actually tells his best friend that, you know, he has these new powers, but Miles himself doesn't really want the responsibility of being Spider-Man at first. He kind of just wants to live his normal life, until the actual Spider-Man, Peter Parker, ends up dying. And Miles feels somewhat guilty for this, responsible for the death of Spider-Man, or at least he feels like that's the point at which he can step up and become Spider-Man, though that he should take on a greater responsibility than what he currently is. And on his first night of patrolling, he uses a Spider-Man Halloween costume, takes on the kangaroo, and well, that was that. On his second night, though, he meets Spider-Woman, and she isn't particularly pleased with the fact that Miles is swinging around as a Spider-Man number two, and she questions him. They might have a tiny little scuffle, but ultimately Miles is brought in to uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. for a bit of interrogation or questioning. Nick Fury finds out his story, finds out his identity, and later, after Electro decides to uh, cause a bit of trouble, Miles turns out to be very helpful in actually taking down the villain, and so he earns the respect of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Spider-Woman, everyone there, because of the fact that he was fairly young. At this point, Miles Morales is 13 or so, so he's a very young adolescent teen. And ultimately, that results in him getting his very own Spider-Man suit that he actually might have helped design, perhaps, or maybe not. But he gets his own Spider-Man suit, or at least custom colors, but yeah. Now, whether or not we'll actually be able to play as Miles Morales as his own incarnation of Spider-Man, because Miles Morales and Peter Parker are different enough that they could play entirely differently. We know we're going to be playing more characters than just Peter Parker, and, well, in and of itself, it's Peter Parker and Spider-Man. It's not too far-fetched to assume that we might actually have the option to uh, swing around at some point, perhaps even at the end of the game, to swing around as Miles Morales, if we so choose. After all, there's going to be 35, or perhaps more, perhaps less, suits in the game. To think that at least one of those might not necessarily be Morales' suit himself, even though the suits do specific bonuses and functions, who's to say one of those might not necessarily be to play as Morales himself, but he could just stay as a good old Spider-Man fanboy. But, but what do you think? Do you want Morales as an actual playable character? Are you okay if he's even becomes a Spider-Man, but it's solely just Peter Parker and the other released characters that we know are going to be playing as? Do you know your thoughts in the comment section below? And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. And of course, don't forget to hit that big red button down there to subscribe. But until the next video, a very good day. I have been Prime, and I'll see you guys in the next one.